best thing in the world. Mm. I grew up on tour. Yeah. You know, so I grew up on a tour bus. So that, the, you know, when the bus starts going, I fall asleep and I'm like, I, I just feel at home. So I guess that I have that going for me. But uh, being away from, you know, being away from family and friends is, is tough sometimes. But then the shows always make up for it because every night you get to see a new crowd and a new audience and connect and it's really amazing. No, because um, there's that's the emotional and mental preparation aspect of On the Road. How do you pack for a year's worth of tour? Um, <laughs> yeah, I have a wardrobe that I send on 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 tour before I go. Okay. So that I pack with most of like the clothes that I I use for work for like for the shows and for promo and stuff. Mm -hmm. So and then I just pack my big bag with like a lot of sweatshirts and like you know I have this big overall thing that I wear and on the, on the bus. I look like a fucking like a baby when I'm on tour. I don't look like this. I look stupid. And uh, it's like you have to be careful so you don't end up like really, you know, not taking care of yourself because you're like, you get so comfy on the bus. Mm -hmm. and so then at night, every night you put on the animal print leggings and the platform timbas. Yes. That is the most gangster thing I've ever seen, <laughs> dude. <laughs> That's crazy. They're good. Yeah, they're awesome. Yeah. Tell me about the... Uh, Tell me about what you're rocking right now because I'm quite fascinated by it. I'm rocking the Sida style Timberlands and it's my friend the Sida who made them for me. She just gave them to um to a shoe repairer. Oh yeah. And just you know, put, she just stacked them. <laughs> it does. It's that it's that extra two inches. Yeah. I think Victoria Beckham said that. It's that extra half an inch. Yeah. That there that's your extra that I find in everything that you've been doing, which is a contrast between s extreme sensitivity or sensibility and total badass. I don't know what that means or is. I think that's what life is to me. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I hope it's not just in Yeah, no, my no, 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 no. <laughs> it means that you're multidimensional. That's good. <laughs> okay, good. I think, I think it's just like, I don't know. The extremes are always right next to each other for mm -hmm. me. And I think... Uh, Yes, my best feeling is happy and sad at the same time. I don't think you can be happy without being a little melancholic at the same mm -hmm. time. Or, you know, when you're sad, there's really, really sad, then there's always some kind of, like, um, joy or, like, you understand something or hope. Exactly. Yeah. So those things are so close to each other, and I think I'm never going to be able to do one without the other. But also the contrast in between them when you put them next to each other is what creates, like... A space where you actually connect to other people. But now when I listen to the radio I hear so much European production mm -hmm. and you were literally the first person to work with the Max Martins and yeah. you know mm -hmm. those Swedish powerhouses. Mm -hmm. How do you feel that now 10-20 years later it's the sound? It's the only sound? Yeah well I think it's never good when there's just one sound. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean, I mean, I'm, I'm, I still work with Martin. Yeah. And I love what he does. And I think he's, you know, um, an amazing producer. But yeah, I think it gets, you know, a little too much sometimes. It's just like three or four producers that do everything that's on the radio. Yeah. Uh, I'd like some more diversity. Mm -hmm. But I totally understand why Max is as successful as he is. What is it? I mean, I, I've worked with him and I know. I've seen it happen. It's like he just has an ear for things that he like. He understands. It's like he has his own secret language or something. You know, like a just like a short cut into what works and what sticks with people. It's weird. He's really. really he, I mean, it's a very special talent. Mm -hmm. It's very almost like a super. You know, like a way about like a superhero. A superhero. And is it still the same when you go in the studio with him now as it was in '97? Yeah, people think that he's got, you know, that he's a scientist and he's he's got a formula and that it's all very cold. But it's not. It's it's what he likes, and that's why he he's done it for such a long time. You know, he he does the stuff that he believes in, and it works. You know. Tell me about working with Snoop Dogg. Yeah. 
Tell me about yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I mean, we were in the studio together for three days. And they were great. <laughs> three years? I'm like... They were, <laughs> no, they were great days and they were... It was awesome. You know, I'm such a fan and I've been a fan since I was a kid. So I was really excited. Um, I can't say I know him or, you know, that we... That we're gonna work again mm -hmm. or whatever, but the or time. Did you text message him or. No, exactly. It's like well, an artist that you meet, and we had a really good time, and he was super generous and very funny. And uh, I guess like I see a glimpse. You know, he wrote the, his rhymes in the studio, and I was there when he was on the mic, and it was really cool. What was the first rap song you learned as a kid? Do you remember? Um. Probably Push It by Salt and Pepper. Okay. Or Buffalo Stance by Nana Cherry. I well, think. yeah, there's the Scandinavian I think, connection. I think that was earlier, actually. I think that was when I was like 10. Yeah, mm -hmm. it probably was the first first song that I learned. Well, I'm going to uh, wrap it up because I'm getting the cue, but you know what's awesome is that you're going to have been to Montreal three times in a year. Yes. So for that, I must hug you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Robin, you're awesome. <laughs> Thanks. And uh, your timbers are just, I, 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 I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool with my uh, rubbers, but... Yeah, but your rubbers are good. Yeah, yeah. You know, you can stack those. True, 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 true. I'll have to mail them to your friend. Thank you yeah. so much.